I. All right. Yeah. I think this is how I lose what few followers I have. What am I doing? I'm alienating myself again. I believe it's called self-sabotage. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is I, Dwayne Anthony, your GBF, and today we are going to be discussing my point of view of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 7 All-Stars. We are just halfway through the season, and I have some thoughts. Now, I wasn't always a RuPaul's Drag Race fan, and as a matter of fact, I'm pretty much late on most popular trends. Um, I tend to get to them after the peak of popularity. For example, Sex in the City, I really didn't watch any episodes until after the whole series was completed and there were talks of a movie. And that's when I watched Sex in the City. But I was first interested in watching RuPaul's Drag Race when I saw Katya and Trixie on mm. and it did its job. I fell in love with them both. I wanted to watch everything that they were in, which includes RuPaul's Drag Race. Now, this brings me to the current season of All Stars. Now, again, I'm not an expert at Drag Race. I don't claim to be. And the good thing about my opinions are they're mine and I'm not swayed by popularity. First thing I want to bring up, the Platinum Plunger. Now, <laughs> why is the first thing I've noticed about this show is the Platinum Plunger not being platinum? It took three episodes before I started questioning my own beliefs on what the color platinum is. Um, it's gold. Is it not? It's gold. It's gold. It's gold. Do you <laughs> gold, exactly. I don't know. I'm not throwing shade at Rue and how he decided to run the season. And I think it's great that keeping all eight queens on until the end is very good. I mean, I think that is the most amazing thing in the world. And the whole idea of a legendary legend star is amazing. World of Wonder on their merch site sells the legendary legend star however it's the only piece of merch from rupaul's drag race that is sold out like all the other pins from all the other seasons all the other franchises outside of the u.s they're all still in stock the legendary legend star is sold out completely completely so if you have one if you could link a picture down below or let me know how close to the real one size and shape wise is it to the ones that they use on the show i'd love to know because chances are i will never get my hands on a legendary legend star now another thing i wanted to kind of bring up about rupaul's drag race for this season where are the critiques mama mama ru come on where are the critiques? Michelle, queen of Jersey. Like, why? There were some looks that I thought were definitely better than others and some that weren't at the same level as all the other queens for the runways on the main stage. Also, some of their acting wasn't great in some of the challenges or the sewing wasn't great in some of the challenges. Like, let's call a spade a spade. <laughs> it's not okay. It's not all at the same level. Is it a respect thing for them already all being queens? And it really does look like the queens are loving each other's company and they have a respect for each other, a higher level of respect for what they do uh, compared to other seasons, like a regular drag race season or even a regular all-star season this is the all-stars of all stars for the smackdown queen of the crown of all the all-stars in all of rupaul drag race history 
they're all being quite nice to each other and it seems like the producers are actually trying to push a little bit of drama there do you see it are you feeling it you know they need to be judging on what's going on now i talked to several drag queen enthusiasts um and when I brought this up with them on how it's turned into RuPaul's best friend race. This is not RuPaul's best friend no race, Sherlock. Um, their responses were their responses were all very similar. But there are no bad performances. There are no bad looks this season. Now, all due respect, I like my friends. And I know this would start a war. Um, I didn't bring any of that stuff up again with them. I knew I would lose this fight. Even on the pit stop hosted by Bob the Drag Queen. Hi everybody, it is me, Bob the Drag Queen. I am the host of the Pit Stop, the official recap show for RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star 7. And they talk about what looks and performances weren't great. It, it's just a matter of fact. When you put eight queens in a room to do the same job, and they're all vastly different and talented in different ways, some of them aren't going to be as good as others. Not everybody's good at sewing, right, Jinx? <laughs> Just saying, it's how it is. If you don't know who Bussy Queen is, please check out her page. Not only is Bussy amazing when it comes to looks, his makeup is flawless, and his reviews are done very, very well. So I will link him down below. And... You guys should check out Bussy Queen if you don't already know who she is. She's amazing. I watch her every week. What I wind up doing when I watch Drag Race now, I watch All Stars Season 7. Then the next day I watch The Pit Stop. <laughs> and then I watch Bussy Queen's reaction. And it's all the tea that I need. Are you guys watching All Stars? Do you have a favorite queen? Um, I me be disclosing my favorite top two queens you know down in the comments if you ask politely and do you see this as I do like or you think I'm full of shit has this become RuPaul's best friend drag race I don't know is it you tell me <laughs> please like this video give it a thumbs up comment share do the things it would mean so much to me if you did and thank you for watching, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Mm -hmm.